Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Matthews, and I have a new story to read to you today called A Tree for Emmy. Who do you think Emmy is going to be? I agree. Emmy is probably going to be the name of the girl that we see on the cover of the book. We can see that the girl is swinging on the tree, and her little dog is with her. The author of our book today is Mary Ann Rodman, and it's illustrated by Tania Mai Weiss. Let's begin. Do you remember what this page is called? Right, the title page. Emmy loved all kinds of trees. Oak trees with acorns, pine trees with cones, willows with long, whisky branches, Best of all, Emmy loved the mimosa tree that grew in Grandma's pasture. A pasture is a large field where animals usually stay. In spring, Emmy swung from the tree's strong, low branches. Look at me, she shouted. I'm a possum, swinging by my tail. I declare, Emmy, said Grandma. That old tree is a lot like you, stubborn and strong and a little bit wild. In the summer, the tree was covered with fuzzy pink blossoms. Emmy put one blossom on each ear. Look at me, she called. I'm a fuzzy bug with pink buggy feelers. What was she pretending to be? A butterfly. In the fall, the tree's seed pods covered the ground. When Emmy shook them, the pods rattled like maracas. My tree, my tree, my beautiful tree, Emmy sang. She danced around the pasture, looking and shaking the pods. Stubborn and strong and a little bit wild, just like me. Emmy's yard didn't have a mimosa tree. It had willows and oaks and pines. They're nice, Emmy said, but they're not stubborn and wild. They're not like me. Emmy's birthday came in the summer. I want a mimosa tree for my birthday, she said. What would you do with it? Asked Mom. Love it and water it and play with it, said Emmy. Okay, then, said Dad, let's go buy a mimosa tree. But buying a mimosa tree was not so easy. A mimosa, said the man at the garden store. We don't have any of these, of those. Why not, asked Emmy. Mimosas grow in the wild. We don't sell them here. Why not, asked Emmy. You don't buy wildflowers, do you? Said the man. Stores don't sell clover and dandelions. Clovers and dandelions are pretty, said Emmy. Sorry, said the lady at the next shop. No one sells wild trees, but it's going to be my birthday present, said Emmy. The lady smiled. We have plum trees, peach trees, sweetie. They will give you nice fruit. They don't have fuzzy pink flowers, said Emmy. Here is a tulip tree, said the lady. It has lovely pink blossoms in the spring. Are they fuzzy, asked Emmy. No, said the lady. Do they have radly pea seed pods that shake, 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 asked Emmy. No, said the lady. Pink fuzz and seed pods make a dreadful mess. I'm sure your parents wouldn't want that. We want what Emmy wants, said Daddy. Come on, Emmy. We'll find something else for your birthday. I don't want something else, said Emmy. Mama hugged her. I know, honey, but we can't find your tree right now. Just for today. Could you visit Grandma's tree? I guess, said Emmy. At Grandma, she ran straight to her favorite tree, gave it a hug. Dumb old stores, said Emmy. 
no mimosas, not fair. She flopped down under the tree and squeezed her eyes shut to keep in the tears. We see she's in the pasture. What animal is in grandma's pasture? <gasps> a horse. So this is a horse pasture. Something touched Emmy's nose. She opened her eyes. A big weed was tickling her face. No, it wasn't a weed. With that long stem and those feathery green leaves, it looked like, wait a minute, could it be? What do you think it is? A mimosa tree! Emmy ran to get Mama and Daddy and Grandma. Mama, said Grandma, peering down. That's a mimosa, all right. Maybe one, but a tree all the same. Can I have it, Grandma? begged Emmy. For my birthday, please. Why, sure, said Grandma. So Grandma and Emmy set to work. Carefully, they dug up the tiny tree. Emmy wrapped the roots in wet newspaper so that they wouldn't dry out. Then they put the mimosa in a big tomato can to carry it home. Emmy scouted the yard for a special place for her tree. That means she looked for the right spot. Under my window, she decided, so I can see it all the time. Emmy and her parents dug a hole for the little tree. I can't wait for fuzzy pink flowers and radley seed pods, said Emmy. When will that be? Emmy, honey, it's just a baby tree, said Mama. It won't have flowers or pods for quite a while. It won't, said Emmy. No, said Mama. Not fair, said Emmy. Dumb old tree. She ran to her room and flopped on her bed. She buried her head in her pillow and wished for a tree like Grandma's. Stubborn and strong and tall. Ch -ch 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 Broom. Emmy sat up and looked out the window. Daddy was cutting the grass. Soon he would be under her window. She ran outside. Daddy, she shouted, waving her arms. Daddy, turn off the lawnmower. My tree, said Emmy. You're going to mow over it. Hmm, said Daddy. You mean the dumb old tree? Emmy looked down at her tiny tree. It can't help being small, she said. It will grow some day if I water it and love it and keep it safe. I suppose so, Daddy said. Why don't we build a fence? So Emmy and her dad made a stick and string fence all around the tree. Now it can grow, said Emmy. Till then, I can pick pink blossoms from Grandma's tree. So she decided it wasn't silly after all. But someday, Emmy knew her baby tree would grow up tall, stubborn and strong, and a little bit wild, just like her. The end. A tree for Emmy. Now I want you to tell a family member what happened in the story A Tree for Emmy. What did she want? How did she get it? Is she going to have to be patient? Who were the characters in the story? What was the setting? Hmm. I look forward to reading to you again soon. Bye.